My name is John Roberts. I'm a retired captain of police from the Chicago Police Department. I probably devoted most of my adult life to protecting communities and people in the Chicago metropolitan area. I think most people would agree that after spending more than 30 years in law enforcement that I earned a retirement filled with rest and relaxation. However, shortly after leaving the front lines of law enforcement, my family and I suffered a cruel tragedy when my son Billy, the youngest of my four children, died from a drug overdose at age 19. Following my son's death, I'm sure people expected me to crawl into a dark place and live out the rest of my days. But people in law enforcement cannot and will not run from a problem. Instead, I turned and I ran directly at the problem that took my son from me. And now I spend most of my time warning families and communities about the very real threat, the lethal threat of substance abuse. In 2010, I co-founded an organization along with another dad who also lost his teenage son to a drug overdose. We called our organization the Heroin Epidemic Relief Organization, but most people have come to know us now simply as HERO. Today, I would like to acquaint you with one of HERO's most popular adult programs, which we call Hidden in Plain Sight. This name comes from the fact that most people, especially teens, usually go to great lengths to hide their substance abuse from family and friends. The, this particular program is designed as an interactive adult education program. And over the last four years, we have taught thousands of adults how to recognize the telltale signs of substance abuse just by learning to look. Over the past 10 years, HERO has learned it is vitally important for parents to be able to recognize the early signs of substance abuse and to be prepared to take immediate corrective action. To this end, HERO constructed a mock-up of a teenager's bedroom in an 18-foot trailer. We then hid various types of drug paraphernalia and fake drugs in the bedroom setting. While hiding these items, we used many of the hiding places reported to us by families with whom we had worked and from tips given to a hero by persons undergoing drug treatment and recovery. Today, I would like to show you just a few of the very clever hiding places Hero uses to educate parents and then we will take you on a brief video tour of the Hidden in Plain Sight trailer designed by Hero. Hi, and welcome to Hero's Hidden in Plain Sight trailer. I'm going to do a brief walkthrough and show you a few of our different props. Although an ashtray is not popular to have in a teen's bedroom, some of the items that we have in here would indicate drug usage and be red flags for parents. Seeing little bits of foil balled up or sheets of foil that have burn marks on them. A lot of times heroin and other powdered drugs are sold in foil packets and drugs are also smoked off of sheets of foil. Orange caps like this one come from a diabetic's insulin syringe. In order to inject IV drugs, oftentimes people will use the end of a Q-tip, the cotton, or take pieces from a cotton ball and use that as a filter before injecting the drugs. We bought these two props online and they were marketed as being a stash spot for valuables. If you look at this regular looking tea can, the top comes off and there's a hiding compartment inside. a regular looking Aquafina water bottle, but the top twists off, and again, it's another place to hide drugs or drug paraphernalia, and it easily locks back in place and looks like a regular water bottle. Oftentimes, people will use the casings of pens or straws when they go to inhale the vapors from different drugs, as well as snort powders or crushed pills. A regular looking deodorant stick. However, when you squeeze the sides, the bottom part comes off and there's another hiding place. Balled up socks, another hiding place that's hidden in plain sight right there in their sock drawer. They can hide bags of marijuana and other drugs. 
Essential oils have become very popular, and like this lava bead bracelet, the porous lava rocks are great at absorbing different drugs, so someone would wear it like a transdermal fentanyl patch. Vaping companies are always trying to appeal to the younger crowd. For example, we have a book bag vaporware, and you can attach a, um, a pod there where you can smoke. This smartwatch, this compartment comes off, and you can fill it with nicotine or THC. This regular looking hoodie. On one end of the drawstring, you would attach a vape pod and on the other you would inhale. It looks like a regular everyday hoodie. This hat was bought at a gas station. However, in the sweatband, you can easily conceal small bags of drugs and it would be held into place. Another classic oldie, however still around, hollowing out the inside pages of a book and hiding drugs in there. Or on the internet, they're selling books that have a safe. Same thing, they're just able to lock it. One thing to be on the lookout for, wear marks on a belt that are too close to the belt buckle. That would indicate that someone is using IV drugs. These are just a few of our over 90 hiding spots in our trailer. Feel free to check out Hero's webpage and find out more information on how you can book our Hidden in Plain Sight trailer. Be a hero, save a life. Thank you for watching.